Hi everyone. Today let us discuss about the time management. Objective of the today's session is the importance of the time management, strategies that we should use to improve our time management, and then prioritizing the activities in order to manage the time better. Why time management? We know that medical school is tough, which needs to cover a lot of subjects in a very short span of time. So, in spite if you even if you put more hard work and try your best with all your stress, so you'll be having multiple activities day in and day out, and the deadlines which you'll be having to complete your activities that can impact both your physical and your mental health so we have many specializations coming up every day so that is also putting the students in a confusing state however the darwin's theory of survival of the fittest that continues to dominate than in the past. What does time management mean? Time management will help you to manage your time in a better way, which will immediately reflect in your academic performance as well as your life outside your medical school. In medical college, remember time is your biggest asset. If you make use of the time properly, so you can never be stopped. Before going into the proper topic, let us assess your time management skill with this questionnaire. Keep your pen and paper ready. So here it is. So if you are going to follow, if you are following always, then put two points. If you are following it at only some time, then put one point. And if you never follow, put zero point. So the first question is, I do things in order of priority. Second one, I accomplish what needs to be done during the day. I always get assignments done on time. I feel I use my time effectively. I tackle difficult or unpleasant tasks without procrastinating. I force myself to make time for planning, which is very important. I spend enough time planning. I prepare a daily or weekly to-do list. I prioritize my list in order of importance and not the urgency. I am able to meet the deadlines without rushing at the last minute. I keep up to date on my reading and homework assignments. I prevent interruptions from distracting me from high priority tasks. I avoid spending too much time on trivial matters. I spend enough time on academic matters. I plan time to relax and be with friends in my weekly schedule. I always have a weekly schedule on which I record fixed commitments such as classes and work hours. I try to do the most important task during my most energetic periods of the day. I make constructive use of my commuting time. I periodically reassess 
my activity in relation to my goals i have discounted any wasteful or unprofitable activities or routines i screen and group my telephone calls to allow for control over the telephone interruptions i judge myself by accomplishment of task rather than by amount of activity or business my actions are determined primarily by me and not by circumstances or by other people's priority i have a clear idea of what i want to accomplish during the coming semester i feel i am satisfied with the way i use my time now let us assess your points how you have manage your time management skill so far add all those points if your point is between 45 to 50 you have excellent management skills if your points are between 30 to 44 then you are managing your time fairly well and this guide will definitely help you to improve your skills so don't miss the session if you are between 30 below 30 then your time management skill must be improved so let us discuss the following guidelines which are going to assist you in improving your time management skill now let us discuss how to track it there are strategies which are going to help you to build your time management skill in a stronger way in your entire medical schools there are eight strategies that will help you let us see them one by one so the first so the first strategy is setting a schedule you have to build a schedule of all your tasks so schedule is a key step to improve your time management skill so you have to plan have a plan for your daily task and also weekly task so planning your task will help you help you to set time for your academic activities and so if you have any uh, interest group or uh, on campus club activities any club activities and also uh, it will help you to plan properly for your personal hobbies or if you have any personal interest outside the campus also so you can have your uh, notebook diary or there are so many uh, apps available online you can make make use of it so there are uh, many apps which will um, help you to maintain your to do list and uh, uh, make note of so all the things which you want to do you can e easily you know um, make use of all these things so uh, to start with you have to develop a weekly schedule so this will provide an overview of your free and the committed time then you have to write a daily to do list so this is to assure the key tasks so that are not forgotten so we tend to forget the things what we want to do so whenever you remember them so list them so by preparing the daily to do list so it will make you um, make it easier for you to complete the task which you want to do that day 
in preparing a long term plan to promote overall organization in future planning so the long term goals so whatever you your planning for so if you have set a long term plan of um preparing for an internal preparing for your university exam so or uh, you are you are planning for your pg entrance coaching so all these things has to be there so you have to divide it and you have to go one by one so for that you need a long term plan definitely set a weekly schedule so this will help you to organize your regular activities so you will be having uh, your regular activities right so you have to make list of it so like um, having any classes which are fixed time table right so or you are going to do your workout regularly in the gym so these are all now these activities cannot be changed so these are regular activities so organize them and so determine your available free time also by that and then look at the hours you spend on the extra curricular activities please make note of you note of it and see how much time you study this is very important you might be thinking that you are studying day night day in and day out but um, when you check with your weekly schedule it will not be up to that mark so make sure so this weekly schedule will help you to know how much you are studying so know how and where you tend to waste your time and so we tend to waste our time sitting with our friends just chatting or uh, going to a mo- movie listening to a music um, now with the gadgets that are available with your mobile phone and you can you tend to waste your time using the social media so you you by keeping track of all these things so this will help so this weekly schedule will help you to make use of your time in a better way so fill in the weekly schedules what are all the things that you have to fill so your personal maintenance so like even don't miss anything eating sleeping so your personal time right so getting ready and uh, the transport the transit time between your hostel in the college or where you're staying in the college and then your classes so your classes they they are fixed times so your classes and your like your theory classes practicals dissections all are fixed they they are all they all happen in your fixed time 8 to 4 or 8 to 5 so whatever it is fill it accordingly so your work and other commitments so so if you want to volunteer anything outside the campus or any extra curricular activity that you want to do then fill in other optional commitments if you have any other optional commitments like your hobbies and you want to spend your time anywhere with anybody so so that, that must be your optional commitment or going even going for a movie this is how a student weekly schedule looks typically so there are things that i want to do and things that i must do and look at the waste time so you'll be wasting your time more than concentrating on the things you want to do and you must be doing it right so make sure so these are the tips to improve your weekly schedule so approximately 1 10 hours it must be used for your personal maintenance and the class time 
so make use of it and work and your other commitments your other commitments must be 14 plus hours and approximately there are 44 hours remaining in the week so this is your time so make use of the time for yourself and make it productively use it very productively set a daily schedule writing a to do list is very very important daily to do list so this will provide you the daily reminders so to assure that key tasks are not forgotten if you are not having a daily to do list then you tend to miss most of your task so it is also important to tick the task that you complete so whenever you complete a task tick them so that will give you the sense of accomplishment so to reward yourself you must tick the things as you complete them and always break the larger projects into the smaller tasks so so that you can do the smaller task in a little time what you have and if you keep on breaking the larger task and if you uh, complete them uh, in a, a little time whatever you have so you can effectively use the time so this is one of the most effective time management strategy so break the larger one into smaller one and then set a long term plan so preparing a long term plan is equally important so better to use a monthly calendar so have a monthly calendar so it is important to be able to look ahead by at least 4 weeks so if you are preparing a long term plan it should be at least 4 four weeks ahead so as soon as you are informed of your deadlines for assignments or any test dates symposium then put them on the calendar so you can ensure that you are able to do some long range planning for that for example if you are planning for your internal test so there will be uh, one or two units two systems involving so you can break those systems and you can so prepare for that uh, daily you can add it in the daily to do list and so um, and also in the weekly schedule so you can break them into small chunks and you can complete them easily and this is a very important step in preventing your last minute cramping like you if you are not prepared well so you, you have you tend to rush the things at the last minute and you will definitely will have a feeling of so if you would have used your time properly so you would have scored better you would have um, prepared better so this sense you will always have so to avoid that sense you must have your plan ready so you must have a long term plan so then strategy number 2 is develop a habit of consistency so college is usually too packed with activities to stick to a routine but try to be as consistent as possible if your body settles into a rhythm for walking sleeping eating and exercising at the same time daily so it will be better for you and it will be easier for you to follow it so have this habit of consistency so fix have some fixed timing and always follow those routines if you are going to sleep at 10 o'clock follow that don't change it so at times you it might uh, be difficult for you but try to follow that every day so if you sleep early you can wake up early if you uh, 
uh, eat on time so the energy level are going to be so on a higher side especially it is important when it comes to sleep schedules before the exams so since all the all nighters and then the lack of rest can affect your efficiency energy and focus so mostly so we uh, tend to prepare uh, for our exams all night so we we prepare it through night right so if you have not if you have not planned your time properly if you have not planned it effectively then so in the last minute even the revision will be difficult so if that uh, that will definitely affect your sleep and if you are not going to sleep properly definitely that will show in your never energy level even if you are going to have a exams other day so have this habit of consistency sleep on time at a fixed time set yourself a time to go to bed every night so you are not forcing your body to keep adapting to changing routines so if you have a fixed time so if you are waking up daily at 6 o'clock 5 o'clock so if that is fixed so your body will also be um, it will be fixed and it will be easy for your body to follow the daily routines so it will be doing so without much stress so if you are uh, sleeping at late and waking early regularly so that will definitely spoil your whole homeostasis and your metabolism will also be collapsed stay away from the distraction so this is very important right so when are you going for your study so during your study time make sure that you switch off your mobile either put it in silent mode or switch it off so and also you must sign out of your social media so if you are working on your computer better remove so it will help to remove all your temptations so otherwise you will be receiving the notification right so each and every time if you are having your mobile by your side so at least switch off the internet otherwise you will be checking the whatsapp each and every minute whether is there any reply or is there any message so every minute so this these are all the biggest you know distractions so constant distractions that can cut into your study time and can cause it to drag on longer than it is needed so if you get rid of these distraction before your beginning then you will be able to study more efficiently and finish up faster and also it leaves you free to pursue other activities later so you your quality study time also leaves you free right attend all the lectures with attention so it will be tempting for you to skip certain classes like any of your theory class or practical class so you will be thinking like it's all available online you can watch at as you wish but make sure that uh, uh, you have enough time for that so so like skipping the lectures and uh, you know you, it needs more attention to so watch all the lectures later so at a stretch right so it will only you will be only skipping every time without watching it and it will be and there will be more lectures there so you without attending it so try to 
I attend all the lectures without missing it. It is very important just because, so these lectures, you know, in the medical school, there are no uh, fixed book. So after 12th standard, there are fixed books from uh, which the boards will be um, having the exams. Here, there are n number of books. So physiology, anatomy, and biochemistry. So these are the basic sciences. So in the medical schools, all the subjects, so you can, it, it's, there is no fixed book for that. And each book comes with different schema. So the way of, you know, explaining the things will be different in each and every book. And some books might be having a point and some book might not be having the same point. So in the lectures, so all the lecturers, what they do is they compile the materials together and we deliver. So if you miss these lectures, then it will be difficult for you to go through yourself all these things, right? You cannot uh, refer all the available books or standard books every time for every topic. So if you follow the lecture without, you know, missing it, so it will be easy for you when you prepare for your exams or even in your so whenever you upgrade yourself from phase one to phase two or even after finishing your MBBS, even in your post-graduation, this will be helping you. So don't miss any of the lectures. And it is also important that you must make your decision keeping your personal grasping power and the retention capabilities. Take your time to understand what works better for you. So attending classes and when they are scheduled or going through all the recorded sessions later. So either way, make your decision keeping a steady time in mind and if you are preferring watching multiple lectures in one go, be sure that uh, you regularly dedicate time for that. So by scheduling time for your lectures in your study plan regularly, so you'll be able to keep up with your um, course and you can avoid uh, instances of overburden, right? So scheduling time for your lectures in your Next is prioritize and block the schedule. Allocate fixed slots for each subject and stick to the schedule that you have created. This is the best way to ensure that you are spending enough time on your studies every day. Prioritize your study material. This is much more important as you can master the subject contents, right? To understand the value of each subject or concept you know you you cannot be a perfectionist until your schoolings you will be a perfectionist but here you cannot be a perf uh, perfectionist right it is practically impossible to memorize all the things what you are going through during you know the medical course so instead try to understand the value of each concept from each subject so so that you can allocate the steady time so according to it pre-exam study strategy so while attending your lecture or when you're going through your resource material mark the important concepts in the material with a special character on it. So you should use a system where you place one symbol on the content which emphasized, which are emphasized in the class and another one for the concept that are covered from your resource material. So you have to uh, use a separate, you know, symbol for class and the resource material. So that before exams, so you should focus primarily on the material that are 
marked with both the symbols then after and you can move on to the materials which are marked with a, a single symbol so by this you know it will help your time you know you can save all your precious time so so that uh, it will be easy for you to focus on the exam and cover everything before the exam take time off so you uh, you you can't just study and study and study and attend the classes and go through the materials all day and night right so without so it will definitely lose your mind so to deal with this constant pressure you know, you need a break you need a break every now and then so go out for a walk we just meet a friend or just call home talk to your family you know when you are feeling stressed with these medical school routine so uh, better you add a dose of exercise to your routine so this will definitely re will uh, reduce your pressure so you can go for a brisk walk or jogging or you can uh, if you have if you can fit uh, so join a in a gym or follow a sport so whatever fits you you just do that so if you have a hobby or passion so outside of your college so make time for it whenever possible so this hobby and passion so other than your so medical school studies you know it is not easy to follow every time but whenever possible whenever you have your your time your extra time then you can you know easily fix it so you can whenever you find time take time off and uh, put your time where you you can find some sort of peace the last tip the final tip and the best one i want to mention so enjoy so enjoyment should be the goal always so that your work can be a play so we always we are occupied with business so we often forget to enjoy what we are doing so even when we focus on working smarter we we are still often too focused on getting things done rather than enjoying it this should never be the point always ask yourself what can i do to spend more time enjoying what i'm doing so instead of doing uh, your work if you want to be you know more involved enjoy it so do it with joyness so what are the benefits of time management skills so this will help you to get the most out of your education this allows you to be better prepared for the demands of your life therefore that decreases your anxiety level and this also helps you to assign time to your specific task in proportion to their importance that is prioritizing so this also makes you a more productive and a successful person so this gives you a balanced life warning signs of time management problems so late submission so submitting your work late that is not up to your usual standard so forgetting the commitment so finding that you often don't have enough time to complete a task so you'll start as 
making excuses for why work is not done so asking teachers for extension of date regularly for submitting your work or um, having a test your internals so postponing all those things so this is your clear cut warning that you are having in time management skill issue so your grades will never reflect your ability if you don't manage your time well if at all if your grades are not you know um, it's not up to the mark what you are at then you there there is something wrong with your time management skill then you have to definitely revise everything about your time management procrastination so this procrastination this may give immediate gratification because it delays the working on an important task but when the time reaches its limits it also brings you the anxiety it will reduce your sleep so you, it may make you sick it will definitely lower your grades your quality the quality of your work will not be up to the mark so there will be less learning as there is a result of being rushed you will be only you know um, going through the you know covers of the book you know only the headings of the unit and you will definitely it is not possible to get into the content so in the end what will happen it will hurts you more than it helps you only initially it will give you some sort of feeling good but when the time when you reach that time when you don't get the extension then definitely that is going to hurt only you importance of setting priorities at any given time you might be having 10 tasks that you should be working on ideally but it is impossible to do all those 10 tasks at a given time so setting priorities means so making a value judgment on each task that you need to complete it should be based on its worth the worth of the task and when it must be completed how much time to be spent for a particular task so this will be initially confusing you so i'll give you some suggestions for that so if you find it difficult to find how much time has to be spent for each subject or any of the other task then you can go to your faculty or teacher for the guidance and you can speak to other successful students in your class it is better not to uh, you know get into uh, some of the poor guidance from any others so go to the achievers and talk to them and take what you can take it is better to follow your faculty and you can easily break the task whatever you have if it is a, a bigger one and break it into various stages and then you can fix timing for each of the smaller task in various stages so that you can go step by step in achieving them achieving the whole task so consider the value of each task and the also the deadline for the task and then wait against the other priorities so here you have to consider the value that is the importance and then the deadline the time so the importance and then the time plays a major role how you prioritize your task
what if I get off the schedule so it is important to prepare for the unexpected event right even if you plan you know uh, you if you have a plan or super plan for your studies and other activities it is always better to have plan B also so when your plan fails you have to list each necessary activity you need to complete so then define the time limits for each activities and set priorities within the list and then tackle the assignments in that order so reevaluate your commitments so this has to be done if anything that doesn't go your way then always reprioritize your commitments and prioritize and don't feel guilty if you need to drop any of your particular task so in everything cannot fall in place every time right so don't be afraid and don't be uh, guilty if you have to uh, you know skip some of your tasks best time for the task so what is the best timing so short term memory tasks such as late evening reviewing for tests or best performed early in the morning between 6 am to 10 am and then uh, cognitive and mental tasks such as reading or ca any calculation or problem solving so these are all performed most efficiently in the morning that is between 10 am to 12 pm and then manual dexterity so here the writing whenever you know you have task involving the use of your hands such as you know drawing or any assignment writing or if you have to type something is your laptop so the afternoon time or the early evening is your best time 2 pm to 6 pm and then physical workout so for that the best timing is after 4 pm and after all to maintain the circadian rhythm so it is always better uh, to engage in the physical activity right so here uh, this will help you in your when uh, your larger muscle coordination and also exercise doing exercise before the bedtime this will definitely help you to improve your quality of the sleep action priority matrix let us go through the instructions list the activities you would like to complete then score them based on the importance that is 0 to no importance and 10 to maximum importance and then the urgency the timing so 0 to no urgent and 10 to maximum urgent task plot your activities on the action matrix action priority matrix to see a visual representation of your activities so then decide which activities you will need to drop and those you will definitely work on so this matrix will help you so the setting up your priority so based on their importance and urgency this is how the action priority matrix looks like you have to enlist your task here all the task and based on their importance and urgency you have to so add the points accordingly so zero is less importance and less urgent and 10 is most important and most uh, most urgent so this is the stephen covey's time management matrix so the task which 
are there for you you have to put it in that table and have to give points according to their importance and urgency so here the task which are most urgent and most important you have to do it immediately for example the any emergency crisis or urgent medical or family issues so any pressing problems or deadlines driven projects or any meetings which have deadlines and some of your calls so you have to do that immediately and the tasks that are important but that is not urgent then you can decide when to do it for example your exercise your vacation any presentation planning for the presentation so any relation building and then prevention act or values clarification true recreation and relaxation all these things are not urgent but they, they are also very important to your you know day to day activity which will ease your tense and then the next one is which is urgent but that is not important then you have to delegate it so for example the any interactions or some of your calls and distractions the distractors the most important distractor which will come across is your mobile phone your social media so be aware of it so some mails and reports and some meetings so which are urgent but that is not important and finally the things that are not urgent and not important like private tasks so spending time with your friend chit chatting which will give no productivity and no sense and busy work which don't make any sense and time wasters and any escape activities if at all if they are coming under these categories then dump it so you don't have to do anything any of these things which are not urgent and not important at all so let us discuss further in the comment box so this is your assignment write down the main distractions and interruptions that a mbbs student faces and also discuss the solution for that take home messages complete the most important task first with focus so this focus is very important you should also learn to say no if there are too many tasks lining up and you have to drop some of them you cannot be doing everything at a pace right so you should learn to say no so turn your key task into habits for example your study time if you have fixed time for your study so what are subject you are going to study so you turn your you know study time your into that uh, that task into your habit so that you will be always studying during the during that time during your entire course or even we don't know even to your entire life so sleep at least for 7 to 8 hours so this will also you know you giving rest to your brain is very important and also during this time it will help when you rest your brain there will be more toxins and there is no lymphatic system in the brain and so the csf will be helping to drain all the toxins from the brain which work during the day time you know they will drain all the toxins from the brain to the venous system directly so sleeping is very important to rest the brain and to detoxify your brain and be conscious of amount of tv internet and gaming time so this may be dragging you right it will uh, it will take away all your save time so be aware of the time that you are going to spend in the uh, spend with the tv and your computer and mobiles so exercise and eat healthily do something during your waiting time so you might be standing 
in a queue or waiting for somebody in a time so carry some of your materials where you can make use of those times instead of uh, simply wasting it so make use of the waiting time so lock yourself in if you're finding difficult in doing some of your tasks better you lock yourself in your room so on the then it will be only between you and that task you can easily handle it without any distractions batch related task so then if you have any batch related task then do it together along with your batch mates never hesitate to do any task along with your batch mates eliminate the non essential so if you have a task which is not important and which doesn't have any you know urgency then try to eliminate all those non essential tasks so in summary time management is a skill that everyone must work on in all the areas of their life so let it be their personal academic or their work related so this lecture is not only for the medical students though the priorities and the strategies are set that way so everyone can follow the time management skills that we have discussed so successful time management requires self evaluation and desire to improve and best of luck in implementing all these strategies and please let me know if you can if i can do anything else you know to help you more thank you so ordinary people think merely of spending time but great people they think of using it all the best see you in our next class bye bye if you have a question then please post it let us discuss it further thank you for your attention